And so you, you, you mentioned that, you know, like Marco Polo and like so many of these individuals that we maybe idealize throughout human history, uh, that, uh, you know, they are a, they are a product of the time and place that they were in. Um, and that's the same for us too. So, so in this day and age, what does it mean for you to be an explorer? You know, what does it mean to, for you personally, and maybe more generally speaking, um, what did it mean for you to go out and explore, uh, maybe follow the same path that Polo went on, but, um, you know, what does it mean in the modern era to be an explorer? Yeah, in a way, I, I feel like it's a term, like I, I would never call myself an explorer. It feels very, yeah, just historically loaded and, and pretty egocentric. Like you think explorer, you think like planting flags and leaving footprints and conquest and climbing the tallest peaks. And, and I'm definitely not one of one of those types, you know, any, any quote exploring I've done has been the sort of exploring that anyone with like a bicycle and a bit of time could get out and, and do. Um, so I, I feel like there's a lot of like elitist connotations to the, the term explorer, like explorer as a noun, but I love the verb exploring. And I think that's something all of us can do, you know, no matter where we are, it's sort of the degree of attention you bring to your, to your life and to the world around you and the people you meet on a daily basis. You know, you don't have to go to Uzbekistan on a bicycle to, to explore. Um, and I, I really, I really like that notion of exploring. And, and in a way I, I kind of did had have to set off on a long bike trip on the Silk Road to, to come to that understanding of, of what exploring can be in the world. Um, so modern day exploration, I would say it's much more about, uh, connection than conquest, uh, both, you know, your, your connection with the wider world, the fact that we're all so intertwined now by, you know, a, a global economy on the, the bluntest level and, um, you know, common artistic influences across countries now that we can share ideas through the internet and, um, translations more more widely available, and travel is more possible for more people. Um, so yeah, I think exploring it, you know, it shouldn't be seen as like an elitist thing that only people on the cover of Outside Magazine or National Geographic do. It, it's it's a state of mind and being that that we can bring to everyday life wherever we are. Although it, I admit it is a bit of a um, a crutch to live in a place like Atlin where I do, where, um, you know, it's harder in cities. I, I feel like if I were a real, um, bonafide explorer in quotes, then, you know, I should be as sort of enlivened by, by cities as I am by a mountain in the middle of nowhere. Um, but I'm not. And so I live in the mountains to, to prop myself up. 